Okay, now we have the um, Galaxy DX959. This is, um, in my opinion, is a radio that I like better than the Ranger 2950. It kind of has that Cobra 148 kind of mojo going for it, like a big boy trucker radio. And again, I think all things considered, I think I like this radio better than the Ranger. Don't get me wrong, the Ranger is awesome because it has 10 meters. But as far as talking, you know, on CB, you know, you, mat you match this with a an Antron 99 or, or even a, a nice beam antenna and you have yourself a killer setup. So let's get into the Galaxy 959. I bought this brand new off of eBay and I paid about I don't know, 175 something like that. And the seller said that this was the only one that he had so I'm not gonna even attempt to put a link or anything like that so what you have here is you have the old style uh, S meter the analog uh, you have the frequency counter which is a nice touch in these radios and then of course you have your channel indicator this has a talk back circuit in it which is nice so if you want to check you know how, lo how loud your modulation is you can do that uh, through the radio through the speaker and then it has a uh, push button here to engage or disengage the talkback circuit next knob here is your clarifier obviously that's what you're going to use on sideband uh, then we'll uh, go down here we have one concentric pot where we have on the outside we have your squelch and then the center knob is your volume. Here's the uh, microphone gain. This also is a uh, push button pot. That's to turn on the Roger beep. So you can see when the Roger beep is engaged, a little LED comes on for under RB right there. Okay. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that and turn that off. Here's your RF gain. Obviously we, we all know what that does. Here's a dimmer, a dimmer pot. And this could, you know, knock down the lighting here at the free counter and the lighting here at the meter. But you'll notice you still get to see the channel a little bit. So that's I think that's kind of kind of cool how they developed that or how they engineered that. Uh, here's your RF power potentiometer right here. And then we're going to look at these buttons here. This is for your meter. Uh, to the left is uh, SWR that you can check. In the center is your modulation percentage. And to the right is your RF power out. Then you have your automatic noise limiter and also noise blanker and automatic noise limiter or both off. Here you have uh, PA and then of course you know to the far right you have CB. Now this is some kind of a filter that helps with a little bit of DX. I use it on sideband uh, GNF and it's basically just a filter is what that is so you can go CB then that fil filter and then you can go PA here's your uh, mode switch AM upper side to the left lower side to the right and then it has like a built-in tone uh, so you have a high medium low okay also there's a an LED for SWR alert so if you're uh, if there's something wrong with your 
antenna system, you know, the radio will tell you that there's there's a problem. So let's check. Let's go up. Uh, we'll go up to channel 20, and uh, we'll check the SWR here. So we're about uh, not bad. We're almost like 1.5 to one. Okay, and that's what the RF power. You know, about halfway. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run over here to power, and you can see on the power scale it goes. Uh, you know, about two and a half watts, basically. Dead, dead key, two and a half. That's where I like to keep it. And then, of course, uh, modulation. We're going to switch that over to mod in the middle. And then we're just going to look at the swing on the meter. One. One. So we're almost at 100% mod. And we're only using like two, two and a half watt dead key, you know, dead carrier. So this radio, it has a really nice receive in it. Um, nice and clean. Especially when you're using it for sideband, which I think, to, for my, in my opinion, I think that's the strength of this radio is on sideband. Uh, the output power that it has, the nice loud modulation, it just, it's a talking radio. When you pair it up with a really good antenna up high, you can't go wrong. So, this is, um, this is the Galaxy, the uh, DX959. Like I said, I bought it new off of eBay. It was about 170 something. And this is a real fine radio. It's just one of one that I've wanted for a long time. I've always wanted a Galaxy. I remember many years ago when the Saturn base station came out. You know, everybody was drooling over that. Really good stuff. Well made. Good audio. Good output power. Pretty good receive. It has lots of options, lots of features. You know, it's really, you know, it's a glorified trucker radio. You got your talk bag, you got your Roger beep. Uh, but that's all good. You know, those guys, they go out there, they're out there all the time. And if they're using something, I want to use it too. So they know what works and what doesn't work. So Galaxy DX959, thank you very much for watching. I think I'm going to uh, do a couple of guitar videos next. Um, I want to show you a couple things. So um, have a good weekend and uh, thank you very much for watching. This is uh, Ray. I'll talk to you later.